Hi, and welcome to the first episode of Stories of the Classical Masters. Short stories about the artists who changed the world of painting. I am Uri Shavit, and in today's episode we will talk about one of the revolutionary artists of the end of the Renaissance and the beginning of the Baroque period. Today we will talk about Michelangelo Merisi, better known as Caravaggio. Please remember to subscribe so you can enjoy the next episodes as well. Caravaggio was actually the city he was born in. Caravaggio was born in September 1571 and died in July 1610 at the age of 39. We can talk a lot about this amazing master, about the man, about his works, and of course about his great influence and contribution to the art of painting. We will talk a little bit about him, about one of his painting, about his influence on future generations, and about his contribution to the world of painting across the world. We can start with the fact that Caravaggio was a hot-blooded violent man who has often got into trouble with the law and who was accused of murder. He lost his entire family to the Black Plague and most of his life was wandering from place to place while he was persecuted by the law. Certain parts of the church did not particularly like him and that was because his work was realistic in a way that did not always conform to the instructions and laws of the church as to how to paint Jesus and Mary. His paintings were dramatic and contrary to the masters of the time, he preferred to paint from living models. At the time, most of the artists were not painting from living models, but mostly from their imagination. Caravaggio also did not build early drawings or sketches for his paintings. In his paintings, he preferred to stay close to nature and to paint them as they were. An excellent example of this is the feet of his figures, which were often depicted as dirty. His use of light and shadow to create the drama in his drawings was a technique called chiaroscuro. It was not a technique that he invented, but he certainly brought it to perfection and made it a hallmark of his works. As far as we know, Caravaggio did not get married and he had no children. This fact, in addition to the depictions in his paintings of mainly men and the lack of depictions of women, led to a dispute among researchers as to his sexual orientation. Let's look at one of Caravaggio's paintings and talk about it. Let's look at the painting The Calling of St. Matthew, which was painted between 1599 and 1600. This painting was made for the church of San Luigi dei Francesi in Rome. In this painting, Caravaggio describes a moment from the first book of the New Testament, the Gospel of Matthew. The story is about Jesus, who is baptized in the Holy Spirit, and he asks Matthew from the heights of heaven to join the support of Jesus. Who is Matthew in the painting is a question that remains open to this day. Most researchers argue that Matthew's figure is the figure in the center because this figure points to itself as if it were asking, Who? Me? The figures around the table are described in their clothing as people of the middle class in the 17th century, while Jesus and Peter are described in plain clothing The faces are realistic and have not undergone any idealization, 
There is a very subtle hint of holiness above Jesus' head, which is not even complete. It is hidden in part by the light. Although there is a window in the place, the light does not come from the window. It is attributed to the light that comes from the holiness of Jesus. The light is a classic use of Caravaggio in the chiaroscuro technique that I mentioned earlier. This painting is painted in oil on canvas. Researchers in Florence argue today that Caravaggio used a camera technique 200 years before the camera was invented. According to Roberta Lapucci, he illuminated his models using light coming from a hole in the ceiling. The picture is shown on the canvas using a lens and a mirror. Caravaggio worked with a bright lead-white color mixed with additional chemicals such as mercury so that the color would illuminate in the dark room in which he was painting. With this color he painted the outlines of the models. Since Leonardo da Vinci invented the camera obscura years before, Caravaggio was the first painter to use it. This is one of the reasons, according to the researchers, that Caravaggio did not make early drawings for his paintings. Another thing is the fact that an abnormal amount of left-handed people appear in his paintings. According to the researchers, the reason is his use of a mirror, so they appear in reverse. This phenomenon changed in his works in later years, which according to the researchers comes from an improvement in this work technique. The European art was greatly influenced by Caravaggio. Artists traveled to Italy to learn from him and to study his working techniques. This is how the Caravaggianistic movement began. His influence is evident in the works of Hamasterin, Giuseppe de Ribera, Ruben and Bernini, and of course Rembrandt. We can talk about Caravaggio for a long time, and I chose to open the first episode of this series with him, because despite of his difficult and short life, his influence on the world of art was great. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, and see you in the next episode.